Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Past T-Shirt of Skin. Today we are playing Dishonored 2 in a demo. Um, this game has been out for a while. I'm sure anybody who's actually really gotten into the series wanted to play it, has played it already, but I haven't. Um, I've never been one for the Dishonored series. It's always been a little too stealthy action-y for me to really get and get into, so... I'm kind of, um, I'm not not un, not excited, not unexcited to play Dishonored 2, but um, I just don't, I don't, I don't really care is a lot of the best way to describe it. It's one of those things where I just kind of uh, moved on from this series uh, a fair while ago. For some reason, it locked up there and I had to actually reopen it. Hmm, that was weird. Okay. Is it that my controller is being weird? All right, let's see if this actually works. Um, so yeah, the disorder. Wow, is my PlayStation locking up? That's not encouraging. Before I didn't even get the game open, it was actually locking up on the screen that normally comes up at the bottom. So I don't know why that was. Um, normally it actually brings it up, and then you can actually select that or next stuff. I don't know why the sonar two was actually going to was it was stopping me from actually making any options. I literally had to press my menu button to get back to it. Glitches in games, man. Can never expect them to actually all act the same way. So, uh, Dishonored 2. What I know about the series is uh, Corvo, on a revenge stunt, uh, killed his way through uh, Dun... Dunworld? Dunker? Something like that. I can't remember what was actually done something or other. And um, in the end, up killed all the people that he actually wanted to kill or saved all the people he wanted to save and good ending, bad ending, whatever else. Took back over the city in a way, and have, of course, had his wife and child and everything good and grand. Now, in this one, of course, time has passed. She's grown up, and uh, she's been trained by Corvo in the dark arts of murder, same as any other world leader should have actually done. And, of course, um, shit's going to hit the fan. And when shit hits the fan, you either play as him or her and work your way back into a position of power, I imagine. So let's see what they've decided to show us in this. You have full access to the first three missions of the game. Plays Emily or Corvo, try their unique goal sets of supernatural abilities, experiment with different play styles and advanced difficulty settings, and progress from this demo can be carried over to the full game. Eh, fair enough. So the first three missions of the game? That is kind of impressive. Um, as a demo, that's, that's a pretty respectable amount of gameplay. I mean, I'm not even expecting to go anywhere near that much gameplay. So um, let's see what it looks like uh, playing as the main characters, because it'll be... Pretty much the uh, first opening scenes that we're going to play through, really. Uh, let's see, is there actually uh, not the locations? I want to check the options just to make sure that the subtitles and anything's on in case I talk over this. Uh, auto use mana elixirs, yeah, why not? Auto save in journal, kill cam, frequent. Oh, well, that'd be interesting. I wouldn't mind seeing the kill cam popping up more often. Uh, that's a lot of HUD questions. I don't know what's going to mean. Oh, no. Ah, you idiot. There we go. Yes, there we go. Uh, audio, uh, not, uh, subtitles on, um, non main dialogue, hold out, main dialogue just. Anything that's actually main dialogue would be most important, I suppose. And visuals, uh, brightness was already sorted. Controls, uh, we're not really going to change the control scheme, just let that be as it is. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll. So, um, yeah, let's get into Dishonored 2. New game. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just go on easy because essentially it's a, it's a beginning of the game. I've never really got into this. Do you want to start the tutorial? Uh, yeah, might as well because I literally don't know anything about the control systems and style of this game. So probably it's just him teaching his daughter how to actually use her abilities. And if, if it gets too slow paced and uninteresting, I'm going to just skip it and hope for the best, I suppose. Which is probably the worst way to play any of these particular kind of games. I remember training with my father in the years after the Rat Plague. Someday, he said, our enemies will come for you. The sounds and smells of Dunwall never change much. This is my city. What training regimen does father have in store for me today? Majesty, let's see what you can do. I 
keep going fast enough, I can slide beneath that. Yes. Huh. I'll have to sprint, vault the obstacle, then slide under. Hurry. Never doubted I could make that. What's next? could spend every day running and jumping. Now to test my agility. You've learned well, ain't that good. So mobility was covered. That's so literally it's actually it's not too slow. I mean essentially if I sprint three I can sprint three pretty fast. Uh circle to toggle strings. Ah uh, you... they were gonna be fun. If you can Father's always on about the value of quiet feet. Solved. Good man. Just tapping out afterwards. Fair play to you. That's my girl. Don't let me hear you or see you. Yeah, if I can smell pickpocketing. Sneaky enough for me. Now I've got to pickpocket him afterwards. I've got to sneak to get through this. Uh, well. Walkie, 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 grab. Didn't see anything at all. Most people won't notice you if you're above them. Overhead. Why fight when you can slip past? La 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 la. Searchy, searchy, searchy. Did I pick up the crossbow? Alright. A pistol will wake up everyone in the building. The crossbow is quiet. Yeah, it's a bit twitchy. The little lock on. Do about them. There we go. Oh, we saw an up here to head. Boop, there you go. Get all the things. Boom. Perfect shot. And we're running and running and running and running. We've done the crossbow training. We've done all the training. We're going through all of us. Time for some more weapons and combat training. Let's beat each other up, shall we? Okay. Yes. You hit hard. That's my daughter. When someone swings a sword at you, block. Good. Well done. Comes off. There we go. You've got a natural instinct for fighting. If you time your block right, you'll throw an enemy off balance. Block with your blade. You're quick. Smart move. Boom, all three of them done. Even the most black hearted killer. You can choke an enemy out, even in combat. Come on. Cool, so you can block them and then immediately counter strike them to actually get a choke on them. Cool, works for me. Grand. You can land a lethal counter attack. Boom, well done. I feel 
feel better knowing you can take care of yourself. Good man, Corvo. Train them well. Does finally come. You're ready to fight. Hmm. Unless they come as an actual army. Right. Well, that the basic cannon controls covered. I could have just figured that out myself, really. Probably should have just skipped the tutorial, but mm, didn't want to risk it. Didn't want to risk it. Okay, loading, 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 loading. Let's start into the actual plot. Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. Mm. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. Nice. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have stand and fight. Stand and fight like the queen you are. Majesty. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. Well, ain't this delightful. Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble rousers, and we'll catch the crown killer eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. <laughs> That's a terrible combination, really. Your Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor. The Duke of Circonos. Ramsay says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. Duke of Sirkonos! Brings mechanical lunacy with him. Jesus. Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano. Yeah, he's a villain. Sirkonos offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation. The rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks. For now, I give you the greatest gift of all. Family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin. Your rightful empress. Delilah Caldwin. What the fuck? My mother had a sister? My dearest niece. Hello. It's not true. 
My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now, I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. What's your top? The fuck? of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector. How naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. Your rightful Empress has returned. What the fuck is up with her voice? Hail the Empress Delilah, first of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? Yeah, figured that was gonna be the case. Gonna tear through half of you guys. <gasps> Can't steal my heart. <sighs> what the hell? <sighs> Isn't she? That's how they reset Corvo. Alright, you get to pick who you want to play as now. I'll be playing as Emily, motherfucker. Play as the queen, bitch! Always play as the queen! Someday you'll see me as the mother you lost. Fuck right off. Kept out of trouble. I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, and I'll bring her to cold <gasps> prison until her trial. Motherfuckers. My father lost it all when I was a boy, so now I wear this uniform, and I send 20-year-olds out to patrol the Rose Gardens instead of drinking with the men from the shooting club. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lady Emily! What happened? That'll be all, Captain Mayhew. No! Well, that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? Kick his ass, Seabass! Kick his ass! There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside their chambers holding enough gold to buy a good-sized island. And they say that this ring is one of the only two keys to exist. Fucking mercenary prick. Oh, you will die first. You will. Will die first. Alexei, the throne room. Father! Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. I'm grab from here. Ugh. Your horse is cold. Oh, Should I just spin it and pick a place to hide for a while? I need time to think. Pick up shit. Anything you'd actually pick up? No. What the hell? Oh, Christ. Damn it. Get it out of here. <sighs> These bastards are working with Ramsay and the Duke of Circonos. Mm. Right. I need to unlock it. So where do I get the key? Alright, so I need to find the key to this room. Down there. Down there. Let's see where I would keep the spare key. Spare key, spare key, spare key. Where do I keep my spare key? Oh, I might as well get a little bit of fruit to make myself feel better. I used to hide frogs in this old grandfather clock to drive the housekeepers mad. I thought life was complicated back then.
Any clue to opening the door? This is actually like this is what happens whenever I play a game that I uh, depends on stealth, adventure, and action all together. And going like, yeah, action would be fine if I don't have to spend all my time searching for. I don't have a clue for as where it might actually be. Nope, no buttons for doing anything that might actually help. Lean, lean. Not gonna be able to lean around anything like that. Uh, some of the key. He is somewhere in this room, obviously. And I don't know where it might be. The Hound Pits pub. I can't believe it, but I actually miss those times. Um, well, shit. Where would she have kept it? Where would she keep her spare key? Shit in the floor. Ah, uh, god, don't. Do they spin and open up, do they? No. Does that do a thing? A combination of things make a thing happen? Yeah. Uh, is there a key sitting on the bottom of the plate? No. Um, none on the typewriter. Oh, wait, hang on. Key? Let's spot someone? No? Alright. Great. New documents added. That's fantastic. Uh, come on. Seriously! Seriously, am I going to sit here and I'm I am going to quit this game if it's not even as simple as actually like give me a goddamn door key. What am I? Oh man, this is fucking frustrating. You make this kind of shit unbelievably obvious within the first couple of fucking seconds. You don't make it so that I'm going to be wandering around doing absolutely bugger all. Fuck off. Right. I'm going to be climbing around the goddamn walls, am I? Possible that the key's up there, maybe? I don't know. It makes me think that it's actually on the floor somewhere. Rather than having to climb up and find someone, so I'm scanning the floor for keys, key-like objects, things that I actually might be able to use as a key. Oh, seriously. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think um, what was going to be a first look at Dishonored 2 is now going to be a no look at Dishonored 2 because this is frustrating as hell and we're, what, 23 minutes in and there'd literally be no goddamn gameplay. Fuck right off. Oh, come on. That is absolutely ridiculous. No mission clues. I wonder why. No mission items. Feck right off. Seriously. I uh, screw this game. Nah, seriously. Um, I like. I have. I don't have infinite patience, and I don't have infinite time in the world to spend half an hour sitting looking. Get the fuck off my screen. That's it. Get the fuck off my screen. I don't have <clears throat> the time to waste. Looking for a fucking key in a room. Whenever it has shown me no gameplay in the opening moments. If I hadn't even done the tutorial, I might have had a little bit more tolerance for this. For a game. <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm getting this. I'm all tensed up. My throat's fucking angry about this. That is a worse 
fucking intro to a game I've played in a while. And I've played a lot of shitty ass free to play goddamn games. That pissed me off. It, it was such a simple thing just to put a key on a fucking table or underneath the table or have it go through. Literally giving you no clue about whenever you're going into the room what's going to happen. That is a slow ass, pace killing, worrisome mess of a fucking intro. And I want, I, I just prefer not to play that game ever again. So whatever Dishonored was, whatever the series actually has value to anybody who enjoys it, I apologize if I gave it no fair whack, but that was bullshit. That is a fucking horrendous way to actually play a game. Fuck that game, man. Fuck it. I, I, I'm angry about a bunch of other things, uh, just like game-wise I've been playing this evening, but this was just a layer on top of the shit kick to actually be sitting there looking at something that it's meant to be gorgeous and beautiful and flowy and looks so good and logical, and actually have to just grind to a fucking halt within 30 seconds of actual gameplay. Fuck that. No, not in the mood for it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry about my opinion on Dishonored 2. I'm sure there's a lot of people who absolutely enjoy it. If you agree with me in any way, shape, or form, you can disagree with me. If you want to shout in the comments about whether or not I couldn't find a goddamn key, feel free to hit the subscribe button up there and hit comment underneath. Feel free to do so. I don't care. It's just the fact that that was annoying. Like the, There was nothing intuitive about that immediate room. If you enjoyed listening to me talk about this, you might enjoy hearing me talk about other video games because there's a whole series of stuff up on this side, I think it is. You can grab stuff from all the videos that are in the boxes over there on the side if you feel like it. I want to say thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again here on the channel, and I hope to see you in the comments. So until next time, I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.